Hey there everyone, Sage here, founder of Organic Unity, and we're in the lab today processing one of my most favorite plants ever. This is uh, Wood Betony, Stachys officinalis, and um, this is a really unique plant that um, was one of the more popular remedies in European herbalism, folk herbalism. Um, it was one of the top remedies of one of my favorite herbalists, Nicholas Culpepper, who uh, used astrology in his practice and understanding of herbalism. And uh, he always has this great co quote that uh, one should sell their coat and buy betony. <clears throat> and so he, he really held this plant in very high regard. And um, it isn't really used too much in, in modern herbalism. And uh, I, but I personally really love to use it. I use it a lot in my personal practice with clients and we use it in a lot of the organic unity formulas. And I just wanted to spend a little bit of time sharing with you a little bit about this plant. But before I talk about the plant, I wanted to tell my story with this plant a little bit, which I think illustrates kind of a principle that we see um, amongst herbalists, and that is kind of the synchronicity around plants, and that each herbalist has certain herbs that really speak to them strongly, that those are the plants that they, um, those plants, I always say, mirror a certain part of the self of that practitioner, right? That that plant, in a way, brings a certain level of soul retrieval or a reintegration back into nature and, and a deep healing for the herbalist. And to me, walking the plant path has so much to do with finding those those allies and those plants that, that really speak to our hearts and really become our teachers, right? So for me, this, this happened back probably eight years ago when I was studying at Bastyr University. And one of my teachers there teaching herbal first aid we were talking over lunch one day and she said, you know, have you ever, have you ever worked with this plant wood betony before? I think you would really like it. I was like, wow, no, I've, n I've never worked with that plant. I've never even heard of that plant before. She was like, I think you should check it out. You know, it might be a good one for you to look at. And uh, so I was like, okay, you know, kind of shelved that in the back of my mind. And, and then later that day we were in the herb lab making medicine and a good friend of mine said, hey, I finished all this medicine today. I've got it all bottled up. Do you, do you want some, you know? And I was like, well, of course, like, sure. She was like, well, here, you can pick something. And I was like, no, how about you pick something for me, you know? And she's like, okay. And she just kind of reached into the bag and randomly pulled out a bottle and handed it to me. And I looked at it and it was wood betony. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. And then that night I went home and did all my homework and and um, was was reading, I, every night I kind of had this ritual where I like to read a chapter in my favorite herb book, Matthew Wood's The Book of Herbal Wisdom. And I always just like to read about a plant before bed. And and I was like, okay, well, I just like to open it up to a random page, right? And and open it up, sure enough, right there, Wood Betony. And so it was like three times. And I think that's that principle, right? And, and a lot of spiritual kind of work that, that that dynamic of synchronicity and, you know, anytime a plant or something comes up three times like that, it's like a, a message, right? That, that that plant or sometimes that animal is, is really speaking to us clearly and has a message for us, has a healing and a teaching for us. And so I, from there, I worked with this plant in a lot of depth and it just became really close to my heart and I really love this plant a lot. So, um, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about how I personally work with wood betony um, in my practice and in the, some of our organic unity formulas. Um, first off, it is in the mint family, so it um, has a standard kind of mint botanical characteristics of square stems, opposite leaves, it's a little bit aromatic, <clears throat> and uh, those bilabiate flowers, very common to the mint family. Um, and like many of the mints, it is, it's a great digestive remedy. We see it um, classically used as a very mild digestive carminative and bitter, um, but really where wood betony shines is its actions on the nervous system. And we see here with the, the purple flowers, a lot of purple flowered plants um, tend to be nervous system remedies, especially in the mint family. Um, we see that with herbs like skullcap and motherwort and rosemary and the, the purple color from kind of thinking of it in terms of the chakra system really corresponds to the crown and the third eye, which kind of govern our brain and our nerve function. And what we see with wood betony is that signature of it tends to like to grow really low to the ground. These are actually really tall <laughs> wood betonies. I've never seen them quite this tall before, but we tend to see large clusters of the leaves kind of at the base of the plant, and then it'll shoot up these, these little flowering, purple flowering stalks there. 
and it's kind of that that signature the way Matthew Wood teaches about it is it's like people like with a lot of vata dosha like too much air and too much ether like their mind and their crown is like too open and they're too they're not really fully here like the wood betony person tends to be kind of checked out and kind of ungrounded and a little bit in the ethers and their their nervous system can get really tense and we'll start to see that tension in their musculoskeletal system and especially in the digestive system and when people oftentimes have digestive issues related to nervous to the nervous system because our gut is very richly innervated with neural tissue and so we start to see that the um that the digestive um, faculties the order of you know the kind of the synchrony of our digestive system gets gets out of sync it gets out of whack right that things aren't secreting at the right time and you know the little valves aren't opening and closing properly and everything just kind of gets disordered and uh, one of the things we see with wood betony through its action on the nervous system its nerving property the way it calms and settles the nerves and brings us back into the solar plexus it really nourishes the nerves in the solar plexus and it coordinates the digestive system so that you know all the secretions are happening at the right time and that we're actually in that parasympathetic state um, where we need to be to appropriately digest our food properly and effectively and efficiently um, wood betony is really nice in that regard so it can be a part of digestive formulas it can be a part of nervous system formulas and that's one of the primary ways that we work with it in the organic unity formulary line the symmetry line um, it's a, an herb and one of our most popular formulas stress to blessed um, which is a really simple five herb formula that's very powerful for the whole neuroendocrine system uh, kind of people in that sympathetic excess um, aspect of their their adrenal function and their nervous system and then um, kind of so building and strengthening up the adrenals and the whole endocrine system but then also settling and calming the nerves which is an aspect of a lot of adaptogenic formulas that is lacking I see out on the herb market people really focus on the adaptogens and the ashwagandha and all these you know ginseng and kind of building rejuvenative like Chinese tonic herbs um, but kind of forgetting the other side of that is why a lot of times people need those Chinese tonic herb kind of category of herbs, the adaptogens, is because their nervous system is overwhelmed. And so if we can settle the nerves and rejuvenate and replenish the nerves, uh, oftentimes those adaptogenic remedies aren't even needed. Um, so that's why I really like wood betony because its strength is in its relative mildness that you can use it throughout the day. It's not gonna make you sleepy or tired and that it's just going to really settle the nerves, ground people back into their body, and strengthen that, what Matthew Wood calls gut-level animal instincts, people that are disconnected from their instinctual self and their intuitive faculties and are kind of lost and floating in the ethers. Um, so I was just really inspired to talk with you a little bit about this remedy today. Like I said, this is one of my favorite plants. I could go off for a really long time about it, but... I'll try to keep this video short here. Just wanted to share a little bit about this remedy with you here. And um, we do have a spagyric tincture of wood betony. Head on over to um, the Organic Unity website and check it out. If this is a remedy you've never worked with, I can't recommend it enough. It's just, it's a great plant. So thanks so much, everyone. I'm Sage Popham. Take care. We'll see you soon.